From space, large storm systems stand out on satellite as gigantic swirls. Each one is a vortex. The view from space shows other smaller, curious cloud swirls. What could possibly cause this shape in the rippled alto cumulus clouds over the ocean? It's a downward perspective from the International Space Station. Here's a similar view off the coast of California, looking southward along the Baja California Peninsula of Mexico. Focus on the corner of the photo to spot a tiny vortex, or hole, in the clouds. That hole is something commonly found south of Guadalupe Island, located west of the peninsula. Satellite shows an intricate pattern of cloud swirls stretching south from the island. What could possibly cause this? The island is about 21 miles long from north to south and 6 miles wide. The highest mountains there are just over 4,000 feet above the sea, acting as an obstacle for ocean air. On a wider view with a northwest wind, you see no clouds downwind of the island. The wind blowing around and over the island leaves a wake of no clouds. It looks similar to a wake behind a moving boat. A little farther away from the island, swirls of clouds form in the wake, each one as a vortex that makes up a string of swirls. These are called island cloud vortices or cloud vortex streets. Each vortex does not spin fast enough for your eye to notice, but once it forms and is joined by others, the vortices can last for many hours as they slowly drift away from the island. Some of them may be 20, 30, or 40 miles across. They are known to scientists as von Karman vortices, named after scientist Theodore von Karman, who is credited with first describing them in the early 1900s. The series of connected swirls is a property found in air and in water when they pass solid objects. We see similar patterns in a stream, where water flows over and around rocks. If you look at the water flow just past the rock, you might spot a wake along with little vortices. In water and in air, the vortices are also called eddies. They are controlled by the size and shape of the obstacle and how fast the water or air flows past it. In clouds, these patterns are common around small, isolated, and mountainous islands like those off the Southern California coast. The shapes are intricate and fascinating. While not so noticeable from the ground, they are obvious from space, like these over the Canary Islands off the west coast of Africa. Artistic and scientific swirls and whirls in the wake of wind passing tall islands. Those are island cloud vortices. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.